One channel for YouTube and name Yardman. Second chance. What that channel they all about? Yardman, squitty, tell him. This channel is here to inspire, inform, motivate, and educate. So you still like you want some inspiration and some good good information, motivation and education. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Yardman Second Chance Station. That channel is for everyone, especially all who did get deported. Yo, check it out. God kids said that. Good night, good night, my peeps. Well, tonight, as you see, my, my stage right now is festive. Got the Canada flag and I got the Jamaica flag. And I got my, you know what's that? A Eiffel Tower. That mean Paris the thing there. Well, welcome to my show tonight. Tonight is going to be real festive. I'll be having a guest on tonight who is very vocal about his thoughts. But before I start, I must send special big ups to my subscribers down there in Toronto City, in California, those over in London, Jamaica. Because you don't know, we think just start. And it's growing. Give, give praise to God. Give God the thanks. We think gonna go. And let's shout out to all my sponsors over there in New York, Boogie Down Bronx. Man like it did's fashion. It's located at 762 Burke Avenue. And they sell the best in the yard in latest fashion. So go over there and check out Deeds. They open from Tuesday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And on fr and Saturdays. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So go check out this fashion over there. And Pablo with the Millennium Records there at 228 and White Plains Road. You can go up there and check out Pablo. You have everything in music. Right. And if you're in Toronto, run over there at Scarborough and check out the number one jerk there with Kaya and Rambo. I cook up some nice jerk chicken down there. And big up man like Ayatollah. And I got a massive Shirley. And the next, and Shirley, two Shirley, Shirley and Shirley. <laughs> Big up, two brethren. All right. Well, before I start, you know, I'm going to play my anthem. We call the Yardman anthem. Welcome to the Yardman channel. And tell about my channel. Hey, Listen. Hey, hey. Let's you know, go. This is the Yardman Second Chance channel. Reaching out to the world and the diaspora. Come on, let's go, man. Reaching out to the world and the diaspora. We will invite all of you to watch our channel. Be here we tell them now. Welcome to the Yardman channel. Welcome to the Yardman channel. Welcome to the Yardman channel. You hear me? Come and be tell about my channel. Come and be tell about my channel. To my channel, they have to inform. My channel, they have to inspire. My channel, they have to motivate. My channel, they have to educate. Now we're there so we elevate. And we never yet segregate. When we talk, you have to appreciate. So welcome to the Yardman channel. The Yardman channel. Mmm, take a chance channel, hear me? If you live a foreign, and you get deported, send back to your yard, and it will rehabilitate. And you get your record clear, and you drop back a foreign. Now your life is great. You say you can't call me. Tell me your story. You say you can't call me. And tell me your story. Even if you are a sinner. Yeah, man. Yard man, second chance. Inform, inspire, motivate. And tell me your story. If you drop a prison. And you don't see your time. And you jack back a road. And you rehabilitate. And I live a different life. That is so great. We say you can call, call me. And tell me your story. Welcome to the Yard Man channel. channel. Welcome to the Yard Man channel. Welcome to the Yard Man channel. Welcome to the Second Chance channel. After the channel left to educate. The channel left to modicate. The channel left to motivate. The channel left to motivate. The channel left to elevate. And we're not yet segregate. No, we're not segregate. 
Mm. All right. of you come in, black and white. Welcome to the Yardman Channel. Right. Welcome to the Yardman Channel, reaching out to the diaspora and the wider right world. Our channel is here to educate, inform, motivate, and elevate. So keep on listening and subscribing to the Yardman Channel and share and subscribe our channel. Blessing. That is the Yardman Anthem. Well, I'm expecting to get a call from this person tonight. A very vocal person at his thoughts, as I was saying. But you know, his thought is his thought. And my thought is my thought. My mind is my mind. And his mind is his mind. So, whatever he think, and he want to debate that, I'm going to think what I think and we're going to debate it. So I'm going to try to see if I can get my friend on the phone. I see he was trying to call, but I missed his call. Let's see what's going on. Yes, sir. This is the Yardman Second Chance Show. Hello? Yes, sir, because I was waiting I was waiting on your call, I didn't hear you, so we decided to call her because this is a very important um debate tonight. We're gonna debate yeah, what what you what your mind thinks and then I debate what my mind thinks. Why'd have to be a debate? Well Well we can just talk. We'll just have a reasoning. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You wanna talk now or you wanna call me back? I I just got up from off the table so I can talk for a minute or two. Yeah, yeah I got you can talk. Yes. So this is my bridging. Long, 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 long time bridging and thing. So his thought is different from my thought. I don't know. We have two different head. So bridging. Let me hear some of your thoughts and um God. My brethren, I'm gonna start with the big one. Huh? Okay, what's the big one? I'm gonna start with the big one. What's your thought on God? Wow. <laughs> you, 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 you just you don't even wait a minute. When you, when you um oh this direct about uh Sir, I'm not here to judge you, sir. I just need your opinion. I'm gonna tell you my opinion about God. So, so. Right, 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 right. let me just put this out right now. Yeah, so that's why I say let's start with the big one. This is the bang, banger, not the banger phone, the bang. So you asking me for my perspective on um, God? That my create, I call him God. Uh, I don't know what you call him, but my God. I don't know. Okay, your God, which I don't. I don't know about your God. All right, God I Almighty. Mean, God is one God, not my God and your God. It's one God. So give me your opinion on God Almighty. So people say there's one God and your God, just like what you did, just like what you said just now. Okay, that's I would say your opinion. Right. So there's one God. You already identified. Is one God. Yeah. So how can we move on from your perspective? Because remember, you said there's one God. You said there's one God, one only God, and that's your opinion. I cannot answer a question that goes through your head. To me, I'm talking to you. You are God. Yeah, I am God. Every man is a God. Every man a God. God in every man. No, God, all of us produce. This is, this is, this is evidence. All right. Your mother produced, your mother produced, your great grandmother produced, your great great great. This is what we know. Yeah. We, all these people we're talking about, they give life. So obviously, a woman 
contribute more than, you know, a man put the sperm in, and we have contribution, they give birth, they, you know, how long, whatever. So, a female, respectably, respectfully, is my God. So a female is your God? A female and a human, a human being is my God. All right. Let's put the question so another way. Let me rephrase this question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Factually, factually, and this is fact, we reproduce. Right? Yeah, I'm listening. So, so we reproduce. We're the productive system in this world. So, yeah, human being, productivity, that's my God. Okay. All right. Let, God. let me put this another way then. Do you believe that the Creator, the Creator, okay. there okay. is a Creator? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Do you believe? Do you think? Or do you know? I don't want to believe. Can we believe? You don't know. Do you know that there is a Creator? We create all things. Both small and great, no. the air where you no. breathe. Uh, there's no evidential factor of there's a creator. Mm. The only thing that makes sense to human beings is that we are created. There's no evidence. But the evidence we have right now, because we reproduce, we are the creator. We cannot talk about something that Hola. we believe. Mm. So, so we are the creator of this earth. This earth has been around for billions of years. So, hold on, so hold on, hold on, dear. Let me cut you now. Hold on. So, you think that human beings create the atmosphere, the air that we breathe, the stars, the moon, the oceans, the mountains, and the trees? That just brought us back, and it, that just brought us back. So what I was saying before. Uh, so human beings we cannot, created that. We cannot, we cannot exaggerate on something we do not know. Factually. What we do know, we're breathing. We're living beings. Birds and the tree. The only thing that can make sense to us with no evidential fact is that we are created. Yeah, but <laughs> ap put apart from the humans. Okay, hold on, hold on. Put humans aside. Nature. How does nature come about? The water, the rain. How, how does that thing come about? It's not created by you think some powers, creator, God Almighty. So you gotta you gotta know and you, you gotta and this is evidential that we cannot put a living being aside to comfort your own mind. So Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Let me, let me cut this out. Me now put human beings aside to come back my own mind. I said we're gonna okay, differentiate. Hold on, just, now. listen me now. Okay, okay. So you're, you asked me a question already when you articulated that something that goes to your mind mm. which is your belief and your So it, 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 I can finally no, say then. So what you're trying to say then, you don't think there's a, a God, a creator, because that's what exactly what you're saying. Say, I'm not trying to say, listen to me. Mm -hmm. What I do know, evidentially, is that me sleeping my, a female, I me produce. This thing, this thing bigger than that, man. What may I ask you bigger than that? Matter about creation of the world. 
before a man start breed a man. Me, me not talk about the part there, they, they promote, because God tell us if no, we uh, multiply. Father tell us if we uh, multiply. <laughs> okay, so, you're God. Yeah. I don't know where you get that from, and I don't know where you get that God concept from. All right. Telling you. We done with number one. That's number one. My second question. My second question. But I get your answer, sir. I you ask you a question. No, you don't get my answer because you don't allow me to answer you. And this is what I articulated before. Okay. Before you even call me, I told you you have to allow me to answer questions and stuff. Don't cut me off and tell me your belief. All right. Okay. okay, go ahead. Tell me your belief then because okay. you answer the question. And I'm going to repeat it again. What I do know, yeah. evidentially, evidentially, mm -hmm. is that human beings are reproductive. We produce. Yeah, we know that. I know. So, okay. So, when you talk to me about a God, mm -hmm. I do not know what you're talking about. So, you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know where you get that concept from. I don't know All where right. you get that concept Okay, okay, I understand. Let me finish. Let me finish. Don't cut me off. I don't know where you get the concept from because of the teaching we brought, we, we got the generational stupidity that's been passed down to us, and that's where we got it from. Mm -hmm. But because my mind emancipated, I can ask a lot of questions, and if things don't make sense to me, I can ask questions. Make it make sense. What are you saying now? Me understand where you stand about God. Number two question. Me ask you number one. Only one question me ask you so far now. If you believe, if you know there's a God, I just <laughs> let me get your answer. I got your answer. Number two. Number two. Right? Do you believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Okay, so there you go again. There you go again. I cannot go into a teaching new God. You we all got that teaching. Yeah. So I don't have a belief system when it comes to that teaching. I already dissect that teaching. Mm. So you when you ask me certain questions, I cannot answer you. Because you have already taught, you already been programmed to think the way you think. They're asking me ridiculous questions. I cannot answer. Exactly. So when it comes to a belief system, I believe it's a lie. I believe it's a doubt. I believe it's someone's um, opinion and it doesn't make it right. We listen, the question, listen, uh, listen. Yeah. Give me a chance because you only are talking you now. Make me talk. Listen, I ask you if you know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is real. I can't ask you no more plainer than that, my brother. You Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ never exists. Okay, and that's your belief. And that's your belief. No, it's not a belief because you Okay, know that that's your that's your acknowledgement. That's your acknowledgement. Okay, okay. So you keep cutting me off again and I tell you if you don't let me explain myself, I'm gonna hang up the phone. So you're talking to me about a story, something I mean talk to you. It's called an allegory. Which is a story, not fiction. It is not proven. There's no fact. So if you're going to talk to me about a belief system, it's something of your opinion, what goes through someone's mind. Whatever goes through your mind, bro, or whatever you've been taught, that's on you. But whatever I've been taught, I dissect it, I research. And it's nonsensical. So, I'm all right. So, you tell me that Christianity, right? I'm not talking about European Christianity. I'm talking about Orthodox Christianity from out of Ethiopia, which was before the days of European Christianity. You want to tell me, say, them Christian there, where they talk about Jesus. I, I joke, they mean a joke. Because El Selassie okay. is a. Let me talk now. Let me talk. Don't cut me off, man. El Selassie is a Christian. And he's from the Orthodox Christianity, which was before. Virgin, don't cut me out of button, man. 
I'll hang up the phone on you too, brother. I'll hang up on you too, man. Let me talk. Virgin, let me talk. You won't you tell me you're gonna hang up phone on me? Let me talk, man. I'm asking you a question. Let me finish my statement, please. Okay, so you're gonna have a statement or you're gonna have a question? I'm gonna I didn't finish what I'm saying. I did not finish what I was saying, brother. Yes, yes, I'm making a statement. Please. Are you making a statement? Yeah, can I? Can I? I'm saying something. Can I? Okay. I listen to your opinion. Yeah, yeah, let me talk. Let me talk for a minute, man. Let me talk. Let me talk for a minute, okay? Let me talk. Let me talk for a minute, okay? Let me talk for a minute, okay? I said, Ilse Lassie. He was a Christian, but he's an Orthodox Christian. Orthodox Christian is way before. Please, man, let me talk, no man. No, because you're asking me a question and you're answering the question you're asking me, and that don't even make it right. What are you saying? I'm saying, hold on, listen, me, no man. Me ask about Jesus Christ. I'm gonna tell you why Jesus Christ is from way back. Are you gonna ask me a question? Or are you giving me a statement? At this time, hold on, hold on. At this time, I'm not asking you a question. I'm not asking you a question. I'm stating something. Are you giving me a statement? Yes, you I told. Do I have to listen to your opinion? Ask me a question. I'll answer appropriately. Hold on, you're man. Tell me what you think. Listen, if you're gonna tell me what you think. Listen, I'm not talking what I think. I'm not saying what I think. I'm going to say something to you. Okay. I'm talking about Jesus. You said Jesus Christ, Jesus had fake and Jesus this. I'm going to tell you about Jesus. Okay, so you're going to tell me about something that would never exist to me. Oh, Lana. Oh, Lana. <laughs> oh my, are you crazy? Yo, man, I'm not dictating. I'm not dictating to you, man. Listen, I'm just talking. You talk your part. Oh, Hold on, brother, brother, brother. You're telling me about Jesus. Do I have to sit down for you to tell me about Jesus? But didn't you just told me that there's no Jesus? I'm sit down and take it. Me believe Jesus. Me know say Jesus there, and you sit down and tell me say no Jesus not there. I'm sit down and take the torture from you. So why you can't listen to me? So that's where the problem is right now because you have a belief. I already identify belief is a doubt. Belief is I have no belief, my brother. I don't believe. I don't believe. I know. You just said it. But listen, I'm saying it now. I'm saying it now. Categorically clear. I know about Jesus and that Jesus is real. Stop, 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 stop. So give me the evidence. You have that Jesus is real. That's all I'm asking you. Because of what I'm doing for me. What I'm doing for me. What I'm doing for me. That are the evidence. Me have it. What I'm doing for me. How about that? Okay, so can I answer? So whatever success you have in your life, whatever tribulation you had in life and you overcome, and you decided you're gonna give it to an entity that you know about and I don't know about. That's on your your behalf. Because you're making a statement as you believe. You're telling me I should have observed what you're saying. My mind is independent, pretty. I've already established that. Listen, your mind is your mind. I know that. Your mind is your mind. My mind is my mind. I can't. I think different from you. I'm going to try to explain to you what do I think about all this. Show me the evidential fact that you're Jesus and whatever you're talking about is real. But so, I tell you. Oh, what are you going to give me? What are you going to tell me? You're all you You're going to tell me your yeah. life experience. Then about what I'm doing for you. I what I'm doing for me, you know. If you don't do nothing for you, you can't talk about it. If a man don't do something for you, if a man don't buy a pair of shoes, you can't say a man buy a pair of shoes. No. Or a woman buy a pair of shoes. You can't talk about it. How many people do you have in your audience? Because Bridget, we not talk about that. You're, you're straight for the point. And I don't talk about more audience. Okay, excuse me. May I talk about something? Bridget, if you interrupted me, and I cannot finish my statement, I am asking you a legitimate question, and I need evidential facts. 
And you keep God in me up like everybody else who don't have evidence in the fact. So let me say this again. Mm. <laughs> what evidential fact besides your lifestyle, your well being, you have because not because you overcome certain situation in life. It's not only for me, brother, it's for the whole world. It's for the whole world, my youth. You know, if Jesus is there, more people would have dead. If enough people never have Jesus in them heart. If they never have the heart of Jesus, enough people would have dead. Because the man come to save people. Because I'm asking you a legitimate question. Yeah. You're cutting me off and telling me about a whole world with no evidential facts. All right. Take a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Break up. Break up. Break up. Hold on. Hold on, my virgin. Hold on. I'm done, Quilly. I'm done. Unless you, unless you let me finish my statement, we cannot reason, Quilly. You cannot keep cutting me off. I'm yeah. Give you a legitimate. There you go again. Bridging, you ask me the question over and over. I'm a man that's the show in a bridging. Easy yourself, man. You come by me show like I had the show host. But you're not listening, my brother. All right, give me a hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Virgin. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me take a break. Let me take a break, man. Hold on. Just hold on a minute, now, Virgin. Hold on. You're listening to the Yardman Second Chance Show. You're listening to the Yardman Second Chance Show. But this client I have here, my host is very taller, he's not giving me a break. Peter, hold on a man, let me talk. Hold on, hold on a minute. I'm taking a break. I'm gonna say one thing right now, Squitty. If you don't allow me to finish my my statement or my sentence, it's not right for you to interrupt me and demand or dictate to me what you go through <laughs> in your mind. Hold on, sir. Hold on. We're going to continue this. We're going to continue this. Just hold on. Give me a break. Let me advertise my station. Hold on, sir. Please. Well, my subscribers, you see this guy, I have this, my friend here is giving me problem. But you listen to the Yardman Second Show, Second Chance Show, and we inform, educate, motivate, and inspire. And we like all who can call our show. Why do you want me to have me on the show? Why do you have me on the show? Oh, sir, please. I'm trying to regulate my show, man. Hold on a minute, sir, please. Keep, keep your show without calling me. I don't need to be on your show. Hey, man. Man, this guy is acting like... What were you drinking, my friend? I call you on a good note, man. Come on, man. What's up with you, brother? <laughs> yeah, keep on watching the Yardman Second Chance show. Can we call we entertain? Sometimes we entertain, but we mostly inspire, inform, educate, and motivate. But Enjoyment. Now, like it's it, it's this interview is supposed to be serious, but it's like it's getting to entertainment region. So I think we're gonna cut it off because this is not gonna work. So my friend, my friend, we're gonna talk another time. All right, let's live in peace. Let's live in peace, my brother. My brother, let's live in peace. Whenever you. Whenever you're serious for me to answer questions, we don't Hey, my friend, we live in peace, all right? There you go again. There you go again. You will never allow me to finish my Because I'm close enough, man. I'm close enough because this is turning to be entertaining. And I deal with serious business over here. This is the Yardman Second Chance Show. So, all right. Let's go, my brother. i talk to you another time. I live in peace, all right? Don't talk to me. Okay, my brother. I live in peace. Well, this is the Yardman Second Chance Show, and tonight was very fiery. <laughs> and my friend here, he called, we debated about God and Jesus Christ, but I can't get him to ever think that there is, there is a real God and a real Jesus Christ. He keeps telling me it's not real. 
I should show him the facts. I tell him I'm um, the evidence. I don't know about another man. Millions of people in the world go through and have their own experience. My experience is that God do something for me and Jesus do something for me. Right? And I believe there's a God. I don't have to ask, I don't believe, I know. To where me got you in my lifetime. I'm a big man now where me got you in my lifetime. And I could have did more than 10 times. I tell you that. More than 10 times I can count for me, I could have dead from my barn. And God saved me for never God, me dead. Enough time the bullet come off of me. I'll throw my shirt. And I never get shot. Enough time. Over and over. Bullet around run me down. Enough thing I got through. I could have lost a prison and God saved me. I tell you that. So when me hear people talk like that, I'm a virgin. I'm a rate my virgin. Because I know my virgin fine at the 80s. And thing. But film thought a film thought. My thought a my thought. Right? And this is the yard man's second chance. Where we rate God and big up God 24 7. We might not go church Sunday to Sunday, our church goer, but we are God man. Because when 4 o'clock me I pray and 3 o'clock me I pray, enough Christian asleep. I draw a bow. I run water out of them, call them out on them pillar. And me I pray to God. Me and God are reason, and me are the sinner. Right? So me is a God man. So me defend God 24 7 inside and outside. You hear that? This is the hard man's second chance. Because God has given me a second chance. And tonight I come with different Father God. You see what I bring? My Jamaica flag, and my Canada flag, and my Eiffel Tower. Yeah? Because I'm there, I suffer 24 years. And a God lift me up and bring me back right as in Canada. And make me survive. And I live my best life right now. Glory to God. I mean, I'm not a sinner, but I love God. I mean, know about God. Any man we talk, say God not there. God never do nothing for them. Because God never do for every man. Enough man now get no blessing. Because enough man me see it. And God not give them no blessing. And if he say, I really, really, they might have do a little thing and a blessing that. That now we go nowhere. Because God is real. God is real. You see me? The truth me reach a foreign, I'm going to forget say God make me reach back a foreign. When I'm done on it, God, I'm, 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 I'm hungry like a dog more time. All when I do my work, I still feel hungry. Because I don't get enough money. I mean, I would take risks. And I go through a gunshot at night time and morning time if I go do my work. And God save me and bring me back here, sir. I God not forget the glory, brother. I two powers in the world, you know. God and Satan. And if you're not with God, you're with Satan. I'm a bonfire upon Satan 24 7. I God me say. So for the man of the pan God said that Satan said, because two power in the world, good and bad. If a man of the pan God said in the pan Satan side. Serious thing that. Right? And we not put your mouth on and talk when we are chat things. Cause so we stay. And we are the real OG. You see? So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna sign off now, my channel. But before I go, I'm gonna play the Yardman anthem. I listen the words keenly. Yardman anthem. Let's go. You know this is the Yardman Second Chance channel. Reaching out to the world and the diaspora. Yeah. Tell you to watch our channel. You tell them now. Welcome to the Yardman channel. Welcome to the Yardman channel. Welcome to the Yardman channel. Hear me? Come and be tell them about my channel. Right. Come and be tell them about my channel. We not play. My channel definitely inform. Right. My channel definitely inspire. Yeah. My channel definitely motivate. Yeah. My channel definitely educate. Right. Tell them. And we never yet say great. No, sir. We love black and white. All the Chinese.
channel. Yeah. Channel. Mm, yeah, man. If you live a foreign, right? And you get deported, send back to your yard. Mm hmm. Can it be rehabilitate? And you get your record clear. And you drop back a foreign. And your life is great. You say you can't call me. Tell me your story. You say you can't call me. And tell me your story. Even if you are a sinner, and you create the most sin, mm -hmm. and you see it by grace, right? You say you can call me and tell me your story. If you drop a prison and you don't see your time, and you jump back a road, and you rehabilitate, yeah, man, and I live a different life that is so great. You say you can call me. And tell me a story. Come to Lord man child. Come to the Lord man channel. You know we not play over here. Yeah, we keep it real. Because I've got to roll our back of field. How when them wicked them attack and I go on. They can't go around with. Because I've got to with the fence. Which channel they have to motivate. Right? Which channel they have to motivate. And we never yet segregate. We never yet segregate. When we talk, you know we great. Welcome to the Yard Man Channel. Welcome to the Yard Man Channel, reaching out to the diaspora and the wider world. Our channel is here to educate, inform, motivate, and elevate. So keep on listening and subscribing to the Yard Man Channel. And share and subscribe our channel. Blessing. Did you hear that? So big up all my subscribers and thanks for watching the Yard Man Show. And tonight was a special night. Me and my host, my guest, my guest was getting away miserable one at a time, but then, you know, I stand firm because God is real. God has to be the winner man. Satan are the, are the loser man. And Jesus are the winner man. So Satan are the loser man because are two power, God and Satan, good and evil. And if you're not good, you're evil. You can't in between good and evil. Because one master you can serve at a time, right? Because if you serve two masters one time, you don't know what time I'm going to reach you. Right? So, you just need one God at a time. One master. If you choose Satan, choose Satan. If you choose God, choose God. But a God we serve by yourself. And big up all the God people, them, God fearing people. And keep subscribing to the Yardman Second Chance Show. And when you, if you want to contact me, you can link me 1514-585-0150. And we are out. Peace out. Big up